Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a black five window 54 Chevrolet pickup truck resto mod. This baby is sweet and you're gonna love checking them out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll get it up on the lift so you can check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood. We're gonna check out the custom interior. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your five window Chevrolet pickup truck. So come on up and we'll fire it up. Look at this beautiful truck. I love it when they put the chrome grills in it. Really sets them off. Chrome bumper looks good. The bezel's on the headlight. They left a chrome strip right down the middle and the black paint on this truck is popping. I tell you, everybody that knows these cars and trucks knows if you're gonna paint one black, you better know what you're doing because it's gotta be a straight job. This is a straight job. Look at the reflections in there. Matter of fact, I can see I need a haircut. I think I'm about a day overdue. Look at those door jams. They're beautiful. Straight as an arrow. All the bedside looks beautiful. The tailgate looks beautiful. The wood in here looks gorgeous. We got a, the gas fills right here, easy to get at. We got great looking chrome. Heck, we've even got a little hitch there if you want to pull a little trailer. Look down the side of the truck. Beautiful, straight as an arrow. Now, these rear fenders are steel, along with these front fenders are steel. All steel truck here, guys. She's gorgeous. The reflections are beautiful. The wheels and tires are great. The stance is amazing. This is just one cool old truck right here, guys. So call Tom at 248 974 9513. When we get them in here to the shop, we inspect them so Tom can answer any question you may have. And we are not a consignment dealer. We spend the time to check the cars and trucks out before we buy them. Now let's take a look at the interior. Look at that door panel, all customized. Man, is that sharp. Black and red, that is the colors of a street rod. Look at that dash too. Those gauges are custom, that tilt column. It's got the low car shifter in it, the aftermarket stereo, beautiful bucket seats. All the paintwork in here looks good. Look at that suede headliner there too. And look at the paint on that dash. Man, is that beautiful. Let's go for a ride in our 54 Chevrolet pickup truck. Five window resto mod, painted black. Love it. This thing is sweet, guys. This is hot as they get right here. 54 Chevrolet pickup truck, and it's a five window. My favorite color, black, outlaw black. And Vanguard can ship this truck anywhere in the world. You give us a call at 248-974. 9513. Tom will tell you just how easy it is to ship this baby to your house and we'll get it parked in your driveway. Now if you need help with financing, we've got two different banks we work with. It's only about a 20 minute phone call and you will be all set up, ready to go to get this baby dropped in your drive. Now we ship all over the world, like I said. Now, we're right outside of Detroit, real close to the airport, so if you want to fly in and check out this car, we invite you to come in. Send an inspector, whatever you want to do. If you see something on the truck you'd like a little different, call Tom, talk to him, say, hey, I love the truck, but man, if it only had this or that, Tom can tech check with our mechanics. More than likely, we can do it for you, so just call Tom and talk to him. Like I said, we sell about 95% of our uh, vehicles sight unseen 
but we do love to have visitors. So please come on down, check out this truck or one of the other 200 cars we have in stock. We're bringing in 40 new cars every month, so we've always got something new and exciting uh, coming in. Keep an eye on Facebook, check us out on YouTube. We'd love to show you some of these cool cars and trucks. Also, get on our website, check out our sold inventory. A lot of the coolest vehicles are in and out so fast, you don't even give a chance to uh, look for them. You can fill out a uh, vehicle locator on our website also, so when we get something in that interests you, you get an email right away. Now we're coming up on our shop here at 15100 Keel Street. We're going to do something now that you don't often get to see. We're going to put this truck up on the lift so you can check out how nice the bottom side is. And then we're going to pop the hood and take a look at what's making the power. All right, guys, this is the underside of the 54 Street Rod pickup truck. Uh, starting from the back forward, this thing does got a little bit of a hitch on it, so you maybe can tow like a little trailer or something like that, but that's really nice if you wanted to do something like a hot rod power tour or something like that. Tow your tools, tow, I mean, heck, anything that wouldn't be too extremely heavy uh, behind this thing. You've got a, uh, looks like a fuel cell in this thing that, of course, has been added uh, as opposed to the stock one, which would be behind the seat. Um, so this is an added uh, safety upgrade, and actually it might, it might be a capacity upgrade as well. You can see you've got the uh, the lines and you've got the, the welded in bungs here that go forward. Ford 9 inch rear end here, you can see that it's got brand new brake lines on it. We always go through the drum brakes that are set on either end of this axle. Um, we make sure that everything is assembled properly. It's got the shoes in the right spot, even the adjusters work. Wheel cylinders, of course, don't leak. Uh, we basically make sure that the brakes are right and tight for you when you actually get this thing. Uh, generally, people do not know how to put together drum brakes. We've got quite a few guys here that really know what they're doing when it comes to that sort of stuff. U joints in good shape. We do have a four link rear end here, as uh, you can see. Uh, that'll keep this thing planted. Of course, you know, they didn't make them like this from the factory. This is all custom fabricated stuff. It's all attached to some really nice adjustable coil over uh, springs and shocks back here. Um, <clears throat> you can see we do have our stainless Goodyear lines. It also kind of uh, improves your pedal uh, firmness and uh, brake responsiveness and stuff like that. All good performance upgrades. You can see we do have a big old drive shaft loop. You can see that the underside of the bed on this thing, if you can get at this angle right here, absolutely beautiful under here. You can see that the uh, frame is in really good shape. A lot of custom mounts and stuff like that on this frame. Of course, they did a really nice job with it. Um, once again, you hear me always say it, that plumbing is really what sells me a car. When uh, the, that kind of worksmanship and people seem like they take their time and all the brake lines are beautifully made on this. If we come around to see this side here, I mean, all this stuff looks like it's stainless and it's all pin straight. They actually put your uh, residual check valves in this right here, which is nice. That's something that, you know, once again, people take the time to do it right. Uh, the car will thank you and it does perform like it, you know, was done properly. Um, as far as uh, up in here, which is a really popular spot for these things to rust, it all looks like it's in excellent shape. All the body mounts are in good shape. Um, I would say the uh, running boards or the step boards, all that supports, all that stuff looks like it's in excellent shape. Uh, we do have a battery un underneath here in this little chrome box here. This is real, uh, more or less the stock location of the battery. Um, of course, it has been 12 volt converted along with the modern drivetrain that's in this. Um, as far as your transmission goes, speaking of the modern drivetrain, you do have a 700 R4. This is a four speed automatic, uh, fourth gear being overdrive. The rear end, is, that Ford 9 inch, has actually got about a 350 rear end gear. Coupled with this overdrive, you should be able to hop this thing right up on the freeway, no problems whatsoever. And you do have Z rated tires, which I'm going to get to in a second here. Which means this thing, uh, this thing will handle free, modern freeway speeds with uh, no problem whatsoever. You should be able to hop this thing right up in the fast lane and be able to piss off a couple of uh, you know uh, sports cars as you're passing them on this old antique truck, which is really neat. Um, open differential, if I didn't say it yet before. So uh, this is a, just a standard type axle. Uh, moving forward to that, you can see here that we do have like the Mustang uh, two type front suspension in this thing. Once again, you can see the brake lines there. They are uh, black, so you can't really see them too much, but they are very nicely bent, uh, very proper looking. You have rack and pinion steering, uh, Mustang two, all of its tubular stuff, um, <clears throat> and it's all been chromed really nice. And of course, we shake everything down, make sure everything's nice and tight. Disc brakes in the front, they are power. Your uh, booster and master cylinder is right there, very typical uh, spot to put the upgraded brakes on these trucks. Um, and it, uh, it handles like it has upgraded brakes for sure. Frame rail up here in the front is in excellent shape. You can see we do have, I believe, a transmission cooler here, uh, another cooler up here, a big old electric fan. We're going to get to that all when we get into the engine stuff. Um, outside of that, that's a, that's a pretty good overview of the underside of this thing. Let's go check out wheels and tires.
Okay, for wheels and tires, we have uh, 245, 45, ZR18. The Z stands for a speed rated tire. The, these things are uh, a little bit more expensive than your uh, typical tire. However, these things are just outright better tires. It is a radial, of course. You do have these 18 inch boost wheels on it. You can see we've got our disc brakes behind it. And as far as life goes, they look pretty darn close to brand new. And of course, it is a performance tread pattern on this thing. Uh, with the front end on this, I would imagine this truck will actually take some corners pretty well. Let's go check out the rears. All right, guys, for the rears, we actually have the same size in the back. So you get a 245, 45, ZR18, same as the front, same uh, performance uh, automobile tire here. Uh, drum brakes there, like I said, we go through them, and we have the same good-looking Foose Chrome wheel. Um, I guess we'll go check out the small block Chevy under the hood. Okay, guys, for an engine, we do have a small block Chevrolet here. Uh, it's a 350. Um, the block is actually a crate motor. Um, it's uh, 1986 and up would be the year on these, uh, the particular cast number that this is. Uh, more than likely, this is a one-piece rear main seal, which means you get the added benefit of um, lower possibility of rear main seal leak, which is always a pain in the butt. Um, so that's a good thing that it has the uh, more modern style seal, which uh, of course prevents that from happening. Um, also, uh, this engine uh, does have the possibility of having four, uh, four bolt mains. We haven't had the pan off of it, but it's a distinct possibility by casting number. They did come with four bolt mains. Um, as far as uh, it does have an upgraded intake manifold on it, it does have a Holley 1850 uh, list number carburetor, which is a 600 uh, CFM 4150, if you guys didn't know. Um, that carburetor is uh, generally straight booster. It is uh, vacuum secondaries, and this particular one actually has the choke uh, wired uh, just wide open so that you would be basically as a non-choke style, style carburetor, but you're not driving this thing in the salt and sleet anyway, so, and it runs fine without it. Um, outside of that, you do have, it looks like a set of jet-coated headers on the thing, a modern alternator, and it does have a serpentine belt set up with this really nice bracket here that they made. Uh, all of that looks like it's really nice. Looks like it's a, a billet piece possibly from March Performance. Um, outside of that, you do have all of your electronics here that runs your fan here in the front underneath this chrome shroud that you can't uh, see the fan. You do have these uh, nice, uh, I guess, a custom heater, I would want to call it a radiator hose you've got. Uh, good dress-up kit on the engine. You do have uh, all like the AC components. This truck does have, is equipped with AC. You can see it's got all of the, uh, the stuff to make it work, you know, in a more modern car sense. All, all is here. Everything's nice and chromed up, even down to the low car dipstick you got. Um, HEI distributor down in the back. Automatic transmission dipstick on the other side. I mean, it actually looks pretty nice and clean in the, under here. And if you were to pop the hood on this thing at any car show, I'm pretty sure people would come by and look, and they'd actually be impressed with how uh, how cleanly built this thing is. Nice clean wiring harness. I mean, it's uh, it's it's really actually a pretty well thought out nice truck. So if you'd like to have this thing parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this street rod in your driveway.